We all write our own stories. Where is Richard? I'd like to speak to him. I'm here. This is mine. That's me, the Mero Mero, Mr. Richard Montañez. I'm the guy who helped bring the world the most popular snack it's ever seen. Are you ready? A huevo. I've been ready. Hi, my name is Alonso Bañuelas from Mundo Now, and today we have two special guests, Jesse Garcia and Amy Gonzalez. Hi, how are you guys? Hi. Hi, buenas costas. Amazing. <laughs> Muy bien, muchas gracias. But first, guys, tell me about the movie Flaming Hat. It's an amazing movie about the, the real story of Richard Montañez. Tell me about that, please. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a love story between um, Richard and Judy and, and how... Uh, Um, uh, the byproduct of their love created the world's most known snack. You know, it's a multi-billion-dollar industry now. Um, but I think it's I think it's a love story. Yeah, and a love letter to the community as well. <laughs> yeah, and uh, tell me about your characters, uh, about Judy and, and Richard. Ah, uh, Judy. Queen Judy. Uh, Judy is a real person. She is amazing. She is so kind. She is, she, I feel like Judy is very much still waters while Richard is rapid fire. Um, she's, she's the grounding force for, for her beloved Richard and, and, and um, really, really beautiful. And, and your character? Jesse? Uh, Richard's, uh, Richard's a creative. He, he's, um, his mind uh, is constantly moving and, and, um, and, uh, and he is grounded by, by Judy. So like the two of them are symbiotic and they work together. Spicy? Yeah, see that's how I got here. Dear God, please forgive me for the gang, the drugs, the stolen cars. What the heck, man? Let's move it. Hey, he is praying, pendejo. Go ahead, baby. The guy started at the very bottom. I know I don't look it, but I got a PhD. Hmm. I'm poor, hungry, and determined, sir. Okay, I can see you're gonna be a weird one. What's happening? Way off, son. Lots of them. Frito Lay isn't getting enough orders to keep the factory open. Who eats Cool Ranch anyway? Uh, it is a wonderful movie about uh, Richard Montañez um, that I really didn't expect. I didn't know about his story until. Um, basically that I was on set. Um, and I got the chance to speak with, uh, in, at, at length and in depth with uh, Eva, who's an uh, outstanding director, as well as an outstanding actor. And, uh, and was actually uh, introduced to uh, the real Richard, uh, who gave me a lot of insight into uh, what he had accomplished and, uh, and how Clarence, uh, had helped him. Uh, I love the relationship between uh, Clarence and Richard. Um, I like the fact that it was reluctant at first and uh, slowly but surely they became uh, brothers. And, uh, and that aspect of the film was uh, really uh, heartwarming to me. Dennis, tell me about more about your character, Clarence Baker. What did you accept this? character uh, say, say that again why did you accept this this movie and this character? i accept the character because because of the, uh, all the things i just said before um you know he was he's reluctant uh to let this uh, this poor guy in um you know he had to deal with his own demons um you know he thought this kid was put there to you know take his place You know, because he felt displaced in Frito Lay. You know, he was isolated. He was basically by himself. You know, it was basically him and his machines. And here comes this upstart kid who wanted to learn about his machines. I said, "Wait a minute, why do you want to learn about my machines, man? These are my machines. No, 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 no. You're not going to, you know, you're not going to come in and take my job. You know." And uh, when I realized that that wasn't his, uh, you know, his. You know, modus operandi that wasn't what he wanted to do he wanted to just learn and he was hungry to learn i said okay i'm gonna help this guy out and in so doing you know we become friends and uh and that's authentic that's how that's how things work and how was how was working with jesse garcia Emilio rivera Oh man, absolutely amazing! You know, um, I knew most of these guys 
coming in. I didn't know Jesse, and uh, and we are to this day good friends. Uh, I knew Emilio, Emilio Rivera, who plays his dad. And uh, no, I mean I, this cast was incredible. I I learned a lot uh, from my brothers, you know, my Latin American brothers, and uh, hopefully they learned a lot from me. And uh, we learned that uh, if we you know we work together. Anything and everything is possible. Yeah, Eva Longoria is a director. Tell me about her work. Amazing, amazing. She's a she's a great actor, and uh, and because she's such a great actor, she became a great director because she understands what uh, what we as actors go through because she goes through the same <laughs> thing, same process, and to work with her and to have her understand our you know our development and what we want to portray and she encourages that and helps us discover and you know and display that on screen get out there and be great we want to know that we matter to you if we knew that there was a product out there for us we'd say take all our money cabrones you know what i said a very um very inspiring story that I think that I could relate to uh, and I hope that everybody else could relate to as well. If you don't know somebody like that or if it's not you, it's somebody that you know. You know what I mean? So if you're dreaming, dream, man, because it could happen. You know what I'm saying? It's going to take some work, but um, it's good to dream, you know? Don't, don't, don't put yourself in a box. Get out of the box. In fact, that's the name of the side of, the, of my company is called Outside the Box. So we have to think outside the box to get somewhere, you know? Emilio, tell me about your character, Bacho Montañez. Bacho Montañez is, is, plays his father who is uh, pretty much stuck in his own ways, you know. Uh, maybe the things he did in life didn't work out, so he went for the sure way. You know, this is going to work. This is the only way it works. And, uh, and and that's the way my father was with me, you know. Uh, the old school, macho Mexican man, you know what I mean? That's how I was raised. So everything I saw there, brother, I lived, you know what I mean? So I just pretty much emulated my father how we were. And um, and how a lot of familias in the barrio where where I come from, you know what I mean? And uh, so I just we just gotta break. That's another stereotype that we have to break. You know what I mean? Because it's gonna always be there. The old, you can't change the old school. A man, a man, you know, from that time has his own ways. You know what I mean? And 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 I had my own ways. But when my dad, like that movie, who I portrayed, brought me up, I did it totally opposite with my kids. And I let them be whatever they wanted to be, you know. And it's not only one way, it's any way you want it to be if you work for it, you know. Emilio and, and Eva, Eva Longori is the director. Tell me about her, her work, how much she was involved in the movie. She was on it. The thing was this, she would tell you, what do you think about this scene? And that's a sign of a great director. Uh, see, uh, a director has to worry has to worry about 20 different characters. All I got to do is worry about my character. You have to worry about your character. So she is open to everything you have to say, and she will let you run. And that's a great director. She's a actress director brother, and she's just getting started because this movie for her is, is going to do very well for her. It's just a, it's just a beautiful story. What a story to start off with, you know? Yeah, but, uh, about that uh, about that the story of Richard is a is a story of overcoming. Um, do you feel identified with it? Totally, brother. I mean, I mean, uh, I come from the I'm from the barrio, just like he was. You know, I, I did the gang stuff, the drugs, all that stuff. Um, bad guy. And but I always worked. I always had a job. You know, it's so funny because see, he was uh, uh, a janitor in a factory. I was engine. Remember the black guy, uh, Dennis Haybert? That's what I was. I was a mechanic at Hostess Case, where they make all the cupcakes. You know what I'm saying? So I worked in a factory for 14 and a half years doing the job that he wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? It was just like a full circle for me, this whole thing. And it was a great job, believe me, because I, I built and I worked for the machines. And my dad knew that that was, that's the job. You did it, you made it, mijo. You made it, mijo. But I wanted something else. And I went to the acting. And I, when I got the acting, my dad did not like it at all. He goes, you're going to leave that for that? And even though I did, I never told him I did. Because that was a real thing. And so my dad passed away. He, he never knew that all I did for a living was acting. He never knew that I quit that good job, you know. But it, it is, but it, I mean, even though it was a great job, it didn't make me happy. That what I do now makes me happy, you know. So you gotta do what makes you happy, brother, you know. No se pierdan Flaming Hot in uh, Hulu y Disney Plus el uh, 9 de junio. Eso. I got a little hood there at the end, but. Hello, baby. Bro, 
burns good or burns bad? It burns good. Oh!